was the best singer in KISS? Let's talk about it. All right, so KISS is one of those bands that all four of the guys can sing. Which one of the four was actually the best singer? Well, I'm gonna let you know what I think here in a minute. But before we go into that, I'd like to remind you to like and subscribe to the channel. There's also content that you can access through the description below that's not suitable for YouTube due to copyright issues. All right, so let's jump into the discussion. Which one of the four guys in KISS is the best singer? If we start off by normal logic, we'd say we can eliminate Ace Freely from the get-go as being the best singer because he's the clearly the one who sings the least and he's what you might call the most reluctant of the four to being a lead vocalist and likes to concentrate on being a guitar player. Ace's voice is kind of monotonic and he does put a lot of emotion into it and he writes really good songs. So he doesn't, other than when he's doing a cover of, uh, of someone outside the band like New York Groove, he doesn't really sing Gene or Paul's songs. When he sings a song in Kiss, it's usually one that he wrote and he has a very limited range but he has um a lot of authenticity to what he does all right with paul stanley who might be considered the default lead singer of the band has the most down the line what you'd call a kind of stadium voice is the most obvious choice as the lead singer and as has been said many times his vocal style is almost like a cross between a, a gospel preacher type and like a drag queen. But he also has this ability to sing almost like a Mick Jagger falsetto, which you can hear on I Was Made For Loving You and some of his other disco type songs. But he's just equally at home with singing hard rock song and ballads. Now we have Gene Simmons, who is the growler in the band. He's the one with the most gritty, heavy metal type voice. If they had ever decided to do a thrash incarnation, he would have been the best choice for it. And he does, like Ace, he doesn't have a lot of range. He's not a vocal diva type singer. He just gets the job done. It's very melodic vocalist. And sometimes his improvisations are more growls and grunts and animal sounds that are kind of interesting makes a good counterpoint to Paul Stanley. And then this brings us to Peter Chris, who is the arguably the most known ballad singer in the band because of Beth and Hard Luck Woman. And he is, he has a voice that's very reminiscent of you know, Joe Cocker maybe, or Rod Stewart. And he has a naturally great singing voice. He projects a lot of emotion. I, I wouldn't say that he's a great technician with his vocals. In other words, he's an untrained vocalist who just naturally has a good voice and knows how to use it. So those are a rough breakdown of what the four guys do basically as vocalists. Now the question is, which one is the best of the four vocalists? If we really want to narrow that down, I think if we look at their solo album, we can see that each one of them suffers from a lack of the other three on the solo album. So if you listen to Ace Frehley's album, there's a lot of other people joining in the background vocals to fill up the space. Ace get, gets through the set. It's a strong, strong set. I'm talking about the 78 solo album. It's, songs are really strong, but the vocals are, you know, admittingly a bit lackluster. And Peter Chris's album, the vocals are the high point and the songs are really weak. On Gene Simmons' album, it's almost the same story as with Ace. It, he, he's an adequate singer, mediocre song choice. So Ace's album has strong songs and sort of indifferent singing. Gene's album has mediocre singing and mediocre songs, but Paul Stanley's album shows great range of vocal, and he does things on the album that really aren't even within the range of what he does with Kiss. So I think that those albums give us a little bit of an insight into where they all stood, you know, unfettered out of the band. What could they do as vocalists? Who would you want to see perform a, a full concert as the lead vocalist? And for me, the answer is Paul Stanley. So 
my vote goes to Paul Stanley as being the best vocalist in KISS, although I think perhaps Peter Chris has the best natural voice. He's just not an accomplished technician singer, whereas Paul Stanley has worked with the voice that he has to get the most that he could out of it. Anyway, this is what I think, but what really matters is what you think. So if you have an idea about this or any other topic connected to classic or contemporary music, please drop it in the section below and remember to like and subscribe. Thanks a lot.